Hello, are you wondering why your child seems like a bottomless pit with food? I'm Dana Snook, nutrition therapist and feeding specialist, and I'm going to talk to you today about why your child might feel like a bottomless pit and is always asking for food. Recently, a parent came to me and said, I will make my child dinner, and then 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes, maybe a half hour after dinner, they're coming to me asking for snacks. And they want to know why that's happening and why they feel like their child is never feeling up. Can you relate to this? Uh, first and foremost, it's important to acknowledge that your child asking for more quantities of food or higher amounts of food, especially in the toddler stage, is really, really normal. Uh, kids are growing their calories per pound of body weight that they need are really high, and therefore they often are experiencing a lot of hunger. Uh, the second part to it is it's actually a really exciting time for kids and toddlers and even preschoolers because if you've been raising a child with a good relationship with food, they want to eat. They're interested in what you're eating and they want to see those foods and they want to eat those foods. However, it is really common for young children to struggle around knowing how much they want to eat when they're actually hungry versus when they're feeling other emotions. And sometimes other emotions can come up for them, such as being bored, tired, angry, sad, or maybe even happy. And so sometimes children have a hard time disassociating between those two feelings. So if you feel like your child is a bottomless pit, is always asking for food, never seems to be filling up, here's a couple steps that you can take in order to help your child to have that better relationship with food, fill up at meal at snack time, and get exactly what they need without constantly asking for it. Number one, make sure you're having consistent meals and snacks. Children need to have something called food security, and food security comes from having your child feel like they're getting enough to eat. Now, for us as adults, we know we're going to need enough to eat, and we probably know maybe some of us, uh, sometimes my clients struggle with this too, but we usually know when the next time we're going to eat and maybe what's going to be coming. But children don't know. It's a mystery to them. And if we don't tell them about when their next meal and when their next snack is going to be coming, coming up, they're going to be in left at a loss. So having consistent meals and snacks will allow your young children to know when the next meal is coming and what is coming for that. Sometimes a child that is asking for food constantly is sometimes it's not that they are actually hungry, but it sometimes can be the fear of not knowing when and what they're going to get to eat next. So you may want to start with having consistent meals and snacks. If you have older children, so Children in like the, you know, two years old, three years old, four years old, and all the way up, I highly recommend putting a schedule up, even if it's on a whiteboard, it's if you print it out on a piece of paper, and put that up on your refrigerator to give your child an idea of what times you're going to be serving meals and what time you're going to be serving snacks. In my feeding programs, I give each parent a example of what a schedule could look like, and then I give them a blank schedule so they can fill it out and make it specific to their family. But starting with, are you having consistent meals and snacks? Does your child know when the next meal and snack is going to be? The second thing that you want to look at is, is teaching children to separate their emotions from their hunger. So in the toddler stage, it's super common for kids to sometimes say that they're hungry when they're not actually hungry. So an example of this, and I can give you an example from my own daughter when she was a toddler. It's like the first time I really realized that she didn't know what her feelings were. And this came up when, um, you know, I just served her. I don't, it was a while ago now. I don't remember exact situation, but it was, I served her a meal or a snack. And like a half hour later, she was whining at the cabinet. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I mean, she threw herself on the floor and all those kind of things that toddlers have to do in order to um, make their opinions known. And but as a parent, I go, there's no way she's hungry. She just ate a half hour ago and she's not due to eat for another couple hours. And so I realized, though, that it was it was nap time. And so while she might have. Um, been saying she was hungry, she wasn't able to identify that the feelings that I'm having right now are really not hunger, they're really that I'm tired. And so what I helped to do was bridge those emotions for her and said, you know, Aubrey, I don't think it's that you're actually hungry, I think that you're tired. And believe me, they're going to tell you, no, 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 that's not what it is. But 
it usually is. If we feed children, especially younger children, every time that they say they're hungry, we're teaching them to eat based off of emotions sometimes. And we're not intentionally doing this. However, if they're not able to separate those emotions from how they're feeling, then they're actually hearing that, oh, okay, when I feel like this, I should eat. And that could be trouble down the line. So having, making sure that you're helping your child to separate those emotions, that comes goes back to having those consistent meals and snacks. Because if they're not having consistent meals and snacks, you won't know if they're actually hungry because you won't know when the last time that they ate is. And then it won't, it'll be hard for you to decipher, well, are they actually hungry or are they not hungry? The last thing is making sure you're having balanced meals and balanced snacks. And that's a big part of it because children, in order for them to be full, they have to eat the right foods of what their bodies are needing at those times. Toddlers have really high fat needs. Preschoolers have really high, high carbohydrate, protein, and fat needs. And so making sure there's a really good variety. So if all you served at a snack was, let's just say, pretzels, which are... Um, They have carbohydrate in them, but they're low in protein and low in fat. You may notice after an hour, your child comes back saying they're hungry because it wasn't enough to fill them and be substantial. So children will benefit from having more balanced meals and balanced snacks. I have a free guide uh, called the five foods to serve on your family table that I'll link in the bottom of this video that will help you... um, to tell if your meals are balanced or not and what serves foods to serve. I will link that at the bottom and you can download that. It's completely free. You just have to put your name and your address in and then it will come directly to your email box. So if your your toddler is struggling and you feel like they're in a bottomless pit, It sometimes is normal. However, as parents, there are things that we can be doing to make sure, is this a normal behavior or is this something that I'm doing that's causing my child to not feel like they're getting enough food or getting the right foods to fill up? If you found this video helpful, please hit the subscribe button and every week I will come to YouTube and I will be talking about different issues around parenting and feeding your children. Have a great day. Bye-bye.